Why, Yolanda? Hello, Mr. Yeah. Congressman? Yeah. Just a moment. Hello? Congressman General Port on line one, and I'd be free to take it if you wish. Thank you. Hello? Yes. Jerry? Yes. Hope I'm not... President. Fine, I hope I'm not bothering you, but I talked to John McCormick, and I've called uh, uh, Mike Mansfield, and I wanted to, I would have you all come in, but you're all busy trying to win an election, and don't want to be, you've been here all year, and I thought, though, that I would like to uh, uh, report uh, uh, what happened. I had Fulbright in this morning, there are very few senators in town. Right. I went in some link with Dirksen, and uh, so forth. Uh, May I interrupt you a minute? Yes. I heard just an hour ago that you had uh, developed some problems with your previous operation and something to do with your throat. I honestly and most sincerely hope that everything will work out 100%. I hope it will and believe it will. Uh, the throat condition is a little growth about the size of a grape uh, on your vocal cords and uh, uh, that comes to all of us that uh, use our voice a good deal, and it's been there, but it disappears, but it hasn't disappeared in the last uh, two, three months, and sometimes they're malignant, and they want to get it out right. and look at it. The second thing uh, was they had a tube in my side, and it was a rather long incision, and uh, uh, when they took it out, it uh, just kind of scarred over, but didn't heal thoroughly. As a consequence, your intestines are pressing uh, to come out about where your belt is, right at the end of the incision. And uh, when you uh, are active in climbing steps and shaking hands, you're twisting your body constantly without your feet moving. Uh, so it's uh, grown from maybe the size of a quarter to the size of a dollar. And it could break through there, and if you did, you'd have problems, and they don't want to uh, to wait on it. And uh, they decided back in Thailand, uh, and we confirmed it up to Seoul after talking to the Mayo people, that, uh, that we ought to do it just as soon as we can. They want me to take a few days, ten days, maybe two weeks, to get to, uh, in best condition I can before they do both operations. They won't do them both at once. We think it'll be minor. We hope it will, and uh, I'm grateful for your uh, for your good wishes, and I, I'll, I'll, it'll mean mean a good deal to me. I told Everett I almost want him to move over, but uh, <laughs> I am uh, I've had better break than he's had, and 
uh, maybe even General Eisenhower, we all got those problems. We just have to live with them. What I wanted to talk to you about was this Manila thing. First of all, I think you have enough for background. I don't need to waste a lot of time on you, but Key had some problems, and Key was wanting to come to the United States. In addition, Pack had some problems in Korea, and he rather definitely felt that uh, uh, we ought to uh, 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 be very strong and uh, uh, very determined in our efforts out there. Australia and New Zealand both got elections on uh, November the 26th, and uh, they've got uh, their uh, uh, problems. The Philippines is very active. He was very much against our Vietnam effort until he got elected, and he got elected and had a little responsibility, and he saw that uh, his own country was in danger, and the communist movement starts uh, resurrecting itself there. Uh, the net of it was that Pac began insisting with our Secretary of State that we try to get together, and the Philippines, when he came here, he pursued it further. Uh, he jumped the gun a little bit by announcing the date, by saying this particular time. We would have preferred, uh, after we got our Congress out and our bill signed in November, uh, middle of December, but they got their election in Australia and New Zealand, sure. November 26th, and they run there. I don't run, and they didn't figure I was up. And we didn't want to wait until the first of the year because PAC's got a lot of things that got to be faced up to before then, and Westmoreland did too. So the net of it was we called him up there. We didn't bill it as a war conference. It wasn't, but uh, uh, we had very thorough briefings from the South Vietnamese and Westmoreland, both of whom outlined some of their views and what they needed and what they had to have. and. It became a joint responsibility, which up till now uh, they have not uh, embraced too much. Uh, they did agree that we would have to have more people and that uh, uh, while we wouldn't get into numbers with all of us running there, that uh, they, those closest to the danger feared the aggression the most. And we came away, I think, with one definite thing. Instead of Uncle Sam fighting this by himself, there are seven nations, and the six closest to it are uh, very up concerned about it. Now, we've, uh, we've transmitted that around the world, and I think that message has gotten through loud and clear. Second thing is we all agreed that we'd do or die that uh, uh, we would uh, not retreat and we would uh, uh, continue to resist aggression and we would stop it and that there would be no give up and be no lessening of will. They've been be have been excellent since you uh, left. They're, 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 they're betting all of our intelligence shows that uh, Kosygin is saying and they're saying and other things that the mass is going to rise up and throw us out of power. And I just frankly said, well, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll lose 50 seats. But uh, when they call the vote, it'll be 404 to 17, and it'll be 87 to 2. Right. Uh, that's not voting on this thing, and I'm not running. And that, goddamn, is what you got to get out of your system. And they all get that pretty clear, and we broadcast that message that we're united, that we'll resist. We all agreed that uh, everybody ought to try to do his own planning and uh, have some growth there. Korea has got an 8% growth this year. And we went into their economic problems. Gene Black followed me by one day, and he's going into each of these capitals now with the Asian Development Bank and some of their development planning and their loans through the World Bank and Export-Import and things of that uh, nature. And finally, we, Gromico told me, and a good many uh, others are of the opinion that, uh, you know, some people are so crooked they think everybody else is. And they're so crooked themselves they think everybody else is. And they can't understand why we'd spend billions of dollars, 20, 25 billion a year over there, and then walk off and leave it. They just can't believe we'd do it. And I said, well, now, uh, the moment that you will get out of there and the moment the violence in South Vietnam ceases, we will certainly reciprocate by removing our people, just like we did in the Dominican Republic. And you can take these bases, and we'll convert them into industrial operations or into education units or anything else, and we can get our people out of there six months after we agree, A, that you've withdrawn and aggression ceased, and B, violence has ceased. 
And uh, that gives Russia something to work on. She said she believed that we were good intentions, but other people just couldn't uh, believe it, and North Vietnam came. Now, we think that Russia is getting a little stronger with the North than the Chinese because of all their difficulty, and we wanted to make that offer. We don't think we yielded one damn thing. Uh, we don't want to fight when aggression ceases and when violence ceases. That's, uh, we, we don't want to live out there because we like the climate. And so that came out of it. Then I went to the other countries, and we saw over five million people. Uh, they were all uh, uh, friendly and happy. We had some communists. They had 60 of them that were ordered from New York before we ever left to put up their signs and say they were for Bobby in 68 and say murderer go home and USA stay out. But do we expected that, and I guess we had a 1,000 uh, uh, perhaps in the Philippines and maybe a couple of hundred in Sydney, but we had a million people compared to the 200, and it wasn't near as bad as Berkeley. Uh, so the net of it was a, a very good trip. Now, we got Key to agree to take additional steps on his inflation, uh, to take additional steps to carry out our education and, and uh, uh, agricultural recommendations at Freeman's experts. He's got a thousand agricultural experts so they can produce their own food and their vaccinations and things that the gardener's department's working. He agreed to hold village and hamlet elections in 67. That's firm. He agreed to hold a national election, select a president or prime minister within six months after the Constitution's completed. They think it'll be before the deadline in March. Uh, he immediately is setting up a group of David Lilienthal's type firms to uh, start on his post-war economy and the conversion of the military installations and how they can be on their own and make that work. Uh, we got Malaysia to agree to help them with some of their training and guerrilla stuff, and they'll be sending people there and vice versa. In due time, when we get the, these other things behind us, you'll find a good deal more uh, concern and fear and participation from the seven nations involved. That is about the net of it. Gee, I, um, first, sir, I want to thank you for calling, and secondly, uh, I'm pleased to get this firsthand report. Uh, I think, uh, Mr. President, that the American people have been impressed with the statements that have come in your stops in Korea and Alaska. Uh, this is the way I feel. You know I feel that way. These, I have no sympathy for these people who want to go back to Pearl Harbor. And uh, I think that the overwhelming majority of Americans believe Exactly as you have said, we're going to stay there until they stop uh, their aggression, their terror, and their subversion. And uh, I don't think this is a matter in this election, Mr. President. That's not. It's not. And uh, we know that. I asked to one of them, I said to one leader, do you know anything about the composition of the philosophies in the Senate? And he said, yes. And I said, well, do you think if Dirksen were elected and Morris were defeated, that it would be a defeat for me? <laughs> <laughs> Amen. So, uh, uh, and I told Harry Wilson, told Kosegan, he said that they're going to rise up and throw Johnson out of power in November, and then we can go on. And Kosegan said, well, now let me tell you, they'll cut his balls out, and they'll take his necktie off, and they'll spit in his face, but when they call a roll on the fence, they'll be 87 to nothing. That's right. And uh, they don't understand that, and uh, I think, though, that this pretty well showed them that the seven nations were together. I want to get away from this just one Uncle Sam stuff that Fulbright Morrison didn't talk about. Anyway, that is the story, and I am writing you a little note uh, that you can use in your speeches or you can uh, uh, use uh, for your own information. But I thought I'd call you four top leaders uh, before I took out. I'm going to the ranch tomorrow. And I'm going to have a pretty rigid diet and uh, and the muscular development stuff for about uh, 10 days, two weeks before they start this surgery. And I'll be uh, uh, operation. Both of them will take less than an hour. They don't think I'll have to be in the hospital over a few days. Or we never know what will develop. And we, the president, we got to. They want to be very cautious with it. And I wanted you to know firsthand because uh, you got to. The responsibility of this government like I have and you get your you get your letter it'll go out tonight it's being typed now and uh, 
uh, I will talk to the four of you, uh, Mike and uh, uh, and uh, Dirksen and, and uh, you and McCormick. Right. Well, I want to repeat, reiterate with emphasis, uh, I hope and trust the deepest that I can say it, that everything goes well, Mr. President. Well, well I, I know it I know it will, and God bless you and give my love to you. Thank you very uh, much, and thank the lady. Bye. Bye.